Hey, what's up, everybody? So let's do like a five minute update to catch everybody up in the market and leave out all the things you don't need to know. So right now, Bitcoin is in a range that has been holding for 90 something days now, actually 108 days, which is almost four months. This range, every time we get above it or below it, we either find rejection or support or resistance, right? This range is perfectly defined that shows what Bitcoin is doing right now. Now, the next thing that we see is this. This was very significant to understand. This long-term resistance, or sorry, support right here that held for 37 days, and then we broke down. Now, when we broke down from it, it was very significant to understand that after it broke down, it tried to get back up twice, actually. One rejection there, two rejection, and then after that, it dropped, it retraced upwards, it found resistance where it last rejected, and then boom, it continued down. But the most important thing to understand is how these trend lines of making a higher low, they form a very strong support. And if it keeps up for a long time, you can see how it's going to impact the price as it drops, like it did right here. Now, because that was a strong support, you also have to think about it from a strong resistance perspective. So if that was a very strong support, then why would this one not be a strong resistance for now? And is it likely that if the previous higher lows broke and they caused lower lows, it started to rally down and it dropped all the way down? Is it likely that if this resistance right here breaks upwards, it could also get back up there? The opposite applies as well. If this trend line broke and we hit 60K, then if this trend line broke upwards, we could hit 72K. That logic to me is very clear. But because on the four day, we see that the chandelier exit right here is very powerful with the 50 EMA. You can see that the four day chandelier exit support, the one that I use is called the chandelier exit by Everget. This one here measures the volatility changes in the market. Think of a support line, but instead of a support line or an EMA, it's basically telling you the volatility support. So like an EMA, but it measures volatility instead. So if the volatility changes bearish to red, then the volatility has changed from bullish to bearish. We can see that it's hit once, twice, actually dropped below here three times, bounced up here four times, and it's also hit here another time, so five times. So because it's hit there multiple times and actually went below it a few times, there's still a chance to hit down over here as well. We cannot be naive. It's very easy to assume what could happen. The one of two cases that could happen is going to be we break to the upside right here, this yellow resistance, or we basically get down here first, and then we go to the upside. So these are the two cases to me, and that's it. Now, we take a look at other structures right now, and we see that the total market cap today moved about 1.6%, and the total three market cap moved about 2%. So even though there is a very tiny movement in the market cap, it started to happen around 11 in the morning, and it moved a total of about 3%. That 3% move was enough to send some of my portfolio picks really high, such as on Solana, such as on Polkadot, such as on Jupiter. And also, it was enough of a market cap move to send a lot of coins upward, such as Lever, Sat, Book of Meme, CFX, Manta. But even though some coins were slightly gaining volatility and moving, they weren't big enough to do anything like signal anything on my volatility indicator. So this volatility indicator was created with two things in mind. One is to identify any volatile coin that moves in the market. So if a coin is volatile enough where it meets these criteria, moving 5% in one hour, 10% in two hours, 15% in four hours, 20% in two days, which can all change as well. You can change to whatever percentage you want over whatever time frame you want. So just as an example, right now it's set, the first one range is 5% over one hour. Well, I can even scan 2% if I want over, for example, 30 minutes. So now, if anything moves 2% in 30 minutes, it's actually going to notify me. 
Okay, so it can change and be customized to however you want. This is just how I have it. So anytime there's a volatile coin, think about it in a bull market or anytime anything moves, it's going to bring you to the attention of that coin. Therefore, you are able to trade it immediately. So there's no other way when you think about it. How is a coin that is moving going to get your attention? Just think about that for a few minutes. And then you're going to realize how important this indicator actually is. So when a coin moves, boom, it's drawn to the attention because it's going to highlight green. But what you can see right now is nothing is highlighted green because nothing is met within the volatility criteria. But in a bull market, this is probably something that most people that are using it are going to be able to find volatility and catch coins right away. So that's the first thing in mind to catch volatility. The second thing in mind that I created it for is to get a general gauge of the market when it's not highlighted green or highlighted green. So for example, if everything was highlighted green or the majority of coins, I'm talking about these squares here with a box that's green, it would mean that if there's a lot of them green, the whole market is fairly bullish and a lot of things are moving. So if you woke up, came to this indicator and saw a lot of things green, you would be very excited because lots of things are moving in the market. Now that's one way to gauge it. So now instead of just looking at the coins that are green, we can also use it to analyze when the market is not highlighting anything that's green, like right now. So we take a look at it and just if you just squinted at your screen, what would you see more? Would you see more red numbers or green numbers? You would see more, more green numbers right now. So because there are more green numbers, you can generally assume that the market is slightly more bullish than bearish but not volatile enough to highlight things green. Does that make sense? If you ever see a mixture of green and red, then you would see to yourself that there's indecision in the market and nothing's really going on. So it's the second reason it was created was to instantly get a gauge of how the market is actually trending based off of how many things are highlighted green or not highlighted green. So with this indicator, it's going to allow you to catch multiple coins to trade. If you're interested in this indicator, take a look at the link below and you guys can pick it up there. It took me a lot of time and money to actually develop this. And yes, there is a fee for it. And it comes with a full blown tutorial on how to use this advanced volatility scanner. So when you wake up every day and you take a look at the market, the first thing you should do is just take a look at the advanced volatility indicator just to get a general gauge of how the market is doing. And this will save you a lot of time from having to look at multiple other sources. So this indicator is the number one thing that I developed it for, which is to save me time and to get gauge the market and to also find volatile coins to trade. And that's why I bring it up in every single trade as well, because it is a lifesaver, a time saver, and it will help me catch lots of day trading positions. So today, because we see nothing highlighted green, unfortunately, the market is going to be a little bit sideways for now until we see more movement in Bitcoin. And I'll leave the video here. If you enjoy these very short updates of mine, make sure that you're hitting a like button. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube already, what are you waiting for? I'm always going to provide you with the best content that I can within my expertise of nine years of experience in the crypto market. So thank you very much for joining me, everybody. And my name is Philicon. I'm signing off from Istanbul, Turkey. Bye now.